The first time in years you do not have to wear your mask on NJ Transit or on a plane. That is after a federal judge struck down the mask mandate on public transportation. News 12 New Jersey's Carolyn Blackburn has been talking to people catching a flight and riding the rails this morning. She joins us now from the train station in Summit this afternoon. Carolyn. Hey there, a decent amount of the riders we've seen here at this train station in Summit have chosen not to wear their masks on the train today. That is some people saying hallelujah and other people saying hold up. The choice to wear a mask on NJ Transit is now entirely up to you. I would still prefer to wear mine just to take precautions. And because it's not going anywhere really, it's just just easing. Masking became optional after a federal judge voided the mask mandate on public transportation. The CDC tried to extend the mandate two more weeks as COVID cases are slowly ticking up, but the judge ruled against that. People flying out of Newark Liberty International Airport this morning had mixed reactions. Well, I'm a doctor. I've been managing COVID patients for the last two years. I've taken care of COVID patients and I think it's a great feeling of not wearing masks now. And I'm triple vaccinated at this point, so I, I, I think we need the freedom. I'm a mask person. I'm all for masks, all for protection. And I've been traveling during the pandemic different countries. I keep the mask all the time. After the ruling, most major airlines lifted their mask requirements, including American Airlines, Delta, Frontier, JetBlue, Southwest and United, just to name a few. Yeah, it's mixed feelings, right? I mean, because we've been kind of comfortable wearing masks in tight quarters. Um, I'll continue to wear a mask. You know, if someone decides not to wear a mask, you know, I hope they're vaccinated. Uber also updating its policy after this federal ruling, saying that drivers and riders are no longer required to wear a mask. In Summit, Carolyn Blackburn, News 12, New Jersey.